Good morning. Uh, my name is Victoria. I am the admissions representative that covers part of Ohio from Johnson & Wales University. I'm facilitating the information session for St. Bonaventure and Katie will be your presenter today. I do want you to know that even though you do not have camera or microphone, you can ask those questions through your Q&A feature. Since Katie's the only one, type those questions up there. She'll be able to read those and get right back to you. I do encourage you afterwards to sign up for more sessions. We do have more going throughout the rest of the week. And then if you missed the ones from last week, they are on demand. Both of those can be reached at oacac.org. After this is over, when I end the webinar, there's a quick four question survey that we would love for you to fill out to help us get better at this. And I will surrender my screen and turn it over to Katie. I hope you learn lots. Thank you so much. All right, I'm hoping my screen, let's see here. All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me virtually today. I hope I can give you as much information and connect with you guys as best as possible through this computer screen. So to start, my name is Katie. I'm an admissions counselor at St. Bonaventure University, and I work with students all over Ohio. So please feel free at the end to reach out with anything you might need um, during this presentation and, of course, after as well. So on the screen, you will see an aerial view of our campus. We are surrounded by the Allegheny Mountains, which you guys can't see, but if you can get a chance to visit campus, you will see the beauty that surrounds us. We sit on about 500 acres of land. So what's projected is the main hub of campus. And that's, it's nice to see because there aren't many hills. Where I went to school for my undergrad, it was all uphill. So having to walk uphill at 8 a.m. wasn't my favorite thing, um, but we do. We have a very walkable campus. Dorms are right next to the gym, to the classrooms, so you guys can get from one place to the other within five to seven minutes. So who we are, you'll see across the top, we are a community. And I promise you, I'm not just saying this, but from everyone down to faculty, staff, and students, this is the best community I have ever been a part of. And I've worked at a few different institutions before here. Um, everyone is truly the most caring people here. And you will see that as soon as you step foot on campus. So um, we are a community that nurtures compassion by sharing unconditional love. And truly, you will get that unconditional love at St. Bonaventure. Um, we seek wisdom. We try to make sure that your education at St. Bonaventure is transformative. So you are transforming as a whole person. Um, and you're, you're focusing on loving one another. And lastly, building integrity. So you'll see some quick little facts on the screen. We've got a total, of, total enrollment of about 2,422 students, 50 majors and 46 minors, a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio, so we've got small class sizes, 20% higher graduation, graduation rates than the national average, and 97% of our students graduate or are, or I'm sorry, 97% of our students are employed or in graduate school within six months of graduating St. Bonaventure. So a little bit about the history. We were founded in 1858. We've been around for a while. And we were the nation's first Franciscan university. Um, you'll see on the left side of the screen, we have our St. Bonaventure's College um, document there when we started our school. I know history is not as, as exciting as the rest, so I'll keep going. Um, so what does it mean to be Franciscan? Franciscan is a form or a branch of Catholicism. And Franciscans live their lives focused on God through a life of service. And I can't put it more simply than that. We really encourage our students to give back. And that's what being Franciscan means. We do have friars living on campus. And friars are, um, think, of a form of a priest. They do, like I said, live on campus. And um, my colleagues describe friars as like the crunchy hippies of Catholicism. So they're, they're all about peace and love. And keep in mind, while we are a private Catholic school, only 50% of our students are actually Catholic, which I think is great. Um, there aren't any masses that are required. There isn't um, boring religion classes that you might have to take. Everything is pretty fun and enjoyable if you do choose to participate. And our university ministries welcomes students of all religious affiliations to participate in all the different opportunities across campus that are 
um, related to spiritual growth or service learning, social action, community building, that sort of stuff. So again, you do not have to be Catholic. It's, it's not required. Not all of our students are Catholic. So um, we're welcome to all students of all religions and backgrounds. So value, we um, have some great stats here. Number two, best value in New York State. Number three, best value in the North, ranked 19th out of 179 best regional universities in the North, and then number nine in, in, in the North on best colleges for veterans. So what does value mean? It's more than just a great price. We strive to get our students more than ready for their professional careers once you graduate from St. Bonaventure. 90% of our students would choose St. Bonaventure again, which is a great stat. Um, I think if you asked me if I would choose the college I went to again, I probably would be a little iffy. I think I wish I would have explored my options a little more. So the fact that 90% of our students want to come back or would have chosen us again is great. Um, and I mentioned before that stat that um, how many of our students get jobs and uh, go into graduate school once they finish up. Again, great value. And you'll not, be, you'll not only get a great education, but you'll be a part of an alumni network that I have never experienced in my life. These alumni will bend over backwards for our Bonnies, um, current ones and ones that have graduated. So you're gonna have a network of support that is unimaginable. You, you will have the resources that you need to succeed by choosing St. Bonaventure. A very supportive environment. So on this screen, you will see all of our academic programs. I won't read them all off to you. Um, but I do want to mention that we do have some combined degree programs or dual admit programs with um, schools of medicine. So we have MD, DO, um, PT, pharmacy, and take a look at those if anyone out there is interested in that. But this can be found on our website. So if you want to explore what we do have to offer, check that out online. So now we're going to get into our schools. We've got the School of Arts and Sciences. This is our largest and most diverse school on campus. And this houses our general education curriculum and honors program. So you'll see on the top, there's 16 different departments. We have some new and interesting majors highlighted on this slide. Criminology would be the perfect major if you're thinking of law enforcement or government. We've got cybersecurity where our students learn how to detect and investigate and prevent technology related crimes. And this is closely aligned with our computer science program. We also offer a master's program that you can jump right into once you finish your four years at St. Bonaventure. We have behavioral neuroscience that combines psychology and biology, if you're interested in that. And then, of course, I mentioned our pre-med pre programs. We also call those FHCP or Franciscan Healthcare Professions Program. And like I mentioned, those contain the MD, the DO, dentistry, PT, and pharmacy. Um, I'll touch a little bit on the admissions requirements at the end of this, but there are specific ones related to those pre-med dual admit programs. So when you are applying, make sure you check out the website and pay attention to those deadlines. And lastly, there's MAP, which is our major adventures program, and it's for those students who, who are undecided. Now, I know there's a lot of pressure to kind of figure out what you want to do as a senior, and I can tell you it is 100% okay to not have any idea what you want to do. I will tell you that I changed my major four times when I was in college, it was really hard to figure out what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to do education within my first semester. I realized this wasn't for me. I tried English, I tried science, and then lastly, I landed on communication. But it, it's okay, it's a big decision, so take your time if you need it. Don't jump into anything because there is no rush. You don't have to declare your major at St. Bonaventure until your sophomore year. Um, and you can work with our CPRC or our Career and Professional Readiness Center to help figure out what you're interested in. You will get career counselors that you can work with and you'll have a specific advisor who is um, trained in working with students who are undecided and still trying to figure out what exactly they want to do. So there are resources if you are undecided to help you figure it out through your time at St. Bonaventure. Next is our School of Health Professions. This is relatively new on campus. It was created in 2016, and it builds upon our existing science curriculum and pre-health programs. Science is a huge major at St. Bonaventure. Biology is one of our most popular ones, so this health professions program or school um, really builds off of that. You'll see some of the majors we've got. We've got health science, public health. 
we have an RN to BSN nursing program. We're working on a one-to-one -one program with our local community college who has an RN program, um, if you might be thinking about that. So we recently got a physician's assistant studies program and an occupational therapy one as well. The P, or PA program starts in spring 2021 and OT starts in fall 2021. So if you are interested in either of those, know that you can hop right into those graduate programs um, or I, I don't know if it's technically graduate, but you can hop into those PA and OT programs as soon as you finish up your undergrad at St. Bonaventure. And they also, not to mention, uh, constructed or re, uh, what's the word? Re, rebuilt, remodeled one of our older buildings specifically for our health professions programs. So you will have a brand new facility to work in with state-of-the-art equipment. All right, next is our School of Business. So we are one of the premier business schools in the world. We have this AACSB accreditation. Only 5% of the business schools worldwide hold this accreditation, and we've had it since about 2004. Um, our business school is in the Swan Business Center. That is a relatively new building. I think it's one of our newest buildings on campus. It was built in 2013. And kind of just to explain a little bit about our alumni, um, this gives you a good idea of how great they are. This building was built 100% on alumni donation. So they really wanted to make sure our Bonnie's got a great learning environment. A lot of the classrooms are modeled after Fortune 500 companies. So our students get to um, get used to the environment that they'll be hopefully working in once they graduate. So there's six majors and nine minors within this degree program. And there is a four plus one accounting BBA to MBA program. Um, there's a lot of hands-on learning experiences we like to offer our business stu students. Enactus is one of them. Um, and they are students that will travel to the Bahamas. They have helped teach about economics. They've helped install computers and taught um, students in the Bahamas about business. So that's a cool experience. We also have the volunteer income tax assistance program where our students are able to help uh, the local community with their taxes um, if they need it. And of course, internships as well. Internships are required. And there is a unique service that we have at St. Bonaventure. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with LinkedIn. Um, it's a great social networking site to connect for jobs and different opportunities like that. Well, at Bonaventure, we've got Bonalink. So it's the same thing as LinkedIn, but specifically for Bona students to connect with our alumni to help them get jobs, job shadows, internships, that sort of stuff. Next is our Jandoli School of Communication. This is my favorite school because I have my degree in communications. Um, but this, this is an incredible program here. If any of you are interested in broadcast journalism, video production, sports media, this is the right school for you. We have about six to seven alumni working at ESPN. And let me tell you, they're great at getting students to job shadow them. We have um, alumni that'll come back and give presentations and speak to our current students. Um, I'm not sure if anybody out there is a basketball fan and follows Twitter and what's going out on social media, but Woj is, um, forgive me, I'm not the most sports savvy person, but he, he tweets a lot for ESPN about basketball and he is a graduate of ours. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure I don't forget anything. We have tons of opportunity, opportunities in this school as well for hands-on learning. So our students get to broadcast basketball games, our, um, our division one basketball games on ESPN Plus. We have got uh, the Bonaventure, which is our newspaper. There's the Laurel, which is a literary magazine that our students can write for. There's SBU TV. So it's our news station that is broadcasted um, locally throughout Western New York. And then we've got the Buzz, which is our college radio station. And that consistently ranks within the top five college radio stations. So you're welcome to have your own radio show if that's something you're interested in. Um, we have six Pulitzer Prize winners coming from this school as well. So very proud of our alumni and what they have accomplished because of the education they have got at St. Bonaventure. Oh, I also like to mention, we have had our students on Media Row during the Super Bowl as well. So they're out there interviewing different athletes and um, got to be a part of that great experience last this past Super Bowl in February. And I just started the graduate program for our IMC or Integrated Marketing and Communications. So uh, I'm super excited to get my, my degree from St. Bonaventure so I can be a part of this alumni network. Lastly, we've got our School of Education. 
So in this school, there are eight undergraduate programs that range from childhood, early childhood, inclusive, which is also special education, um, physical education, and sports studies. Um, and I think adolescent too, if I didn't mention that already. Um, you get to work with, with, you get to work in the classroom within your freshman year. So you're gonna get over the 1,000 hours of experience. So by the time you are doing your student teaching your senior year, you are more than familiar with being in the classroom and you'll have that confidence to teach a, a class yourself. Um, we try to work on creating technology proficient educators. A lot of technology is used in the classroom nowadays. So you're gonna be more familiar with that. And we were ranked as one of the top 25 innovative teacher education programs. It's a great school for education if you are thinking about teaching. So next we've got the CPRC. We're gonna kind of go more into student life and campus life from here. Um, in the CPRC, the Career and Professional Readiness Center, this is where our students can learn about, you know, what they might want to do if they're undecided, like I mentioned earlier, or you can stop here if you need help preparing yourself for graduation. So this is a place you'll want to make an appointment for to help with resume writing or cover letter writing. We do some mock interviews. We'll work with you on personal branding. If that's something you want to kind of develop, we've had some students do podcasts. Um, so they can stop here to create their own brand for their podcast. Um, you'll get familiar with the workplace dynamic, learn some of those soft skills that are important, like time management, um, and then networking as well. So uh, we'll teach you how to, to network and get you familiar with that experience. Um, and then they can also help you with grad school as well. So if you need help writing an essay for grad school or filling out applications or anything with that, you can stop in the CPRC. We also have an EDGE certificate, which is something you can put on your transcript, and it just allows our students to dive deeper into learning about themselves, again, that workplace dynamic and communication. Um, and this will all prepare you for, you know, life after Bonaventure. So student life, 80% um, of our student body participates in some sort of activity on campus. I was, I was told over and over and over again when I was going through orientation, uh, my my freshman year that getting involved was important and don't be like me because I ignored that I did not get involved like I should have and I think in the end it bit me in the butt because uh, I didn't have much to put on my resume and yes while grades are super important so were the experiences that you participate in while you were in college so at least make sure you were involved in at least one thing if you can promise me that get involved in one thing so anyways we have got um, intramural sports on campus, we've got club sports on campus, and then over 75 different organizations that you guys can get involved with. Now, intramural, if you aren't familiar, that's when you can get involved um, in sports by competing against other students at St. Bonaventure. Club sports is nice because you can compete, you can have, form a team at St. Bonaventure and compete against other schools and universities. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but we are a Division I school. So um, if you aren't playing at the division one level, this still gives you the chance to compete against other people, not at that, not as, but it's not as competitive as what a division one sport is. And it's not um, as time consuming or there isn't a big of a time commitment as the division one sport. So if you're an athlete in school and want to still play, highly recommend club sports. Um, we have clubs and organization fairs that are hosted at the beginning of each semester. So you can kind of walk around and explore and see what there is to do and what fits your interest. We also have study abroad opportunities that's not on the screen, but that is an option as well. You can study abroad for an entire semester, which is August to December, January to May, or you can do some two week trips in the summertime, or um, you can do even shorter trips, I believe a week long trips in the winter over a winter session, but those are more geared towards um, mission trips in the winter time. Um, we also have the first year experience, which is great for students as freshmen. We wanna make sure that you are taken care of and you are not left to struggle your freshman year since it can be an adjustment for, for many people. So we have the SBU 101, which is a two credit course that teaches our students about effective learning strategies, different campus resources, um, and then you'll also have a peer coach. And that's an upperclassman student that can kind of be like a mentor for you uh, during your freshman year. And then I mentioned the CPRC already, but we also have disability support services. We've got tutoring, we've got a writing lab, we've got a math lab. Um, and yeah, and there's always something on campus going on. Majority of our students are living on campus their freshman year. It is required to live on campus through junior year. 
So because we have such a large population of students on campus, they make sure that there's something planned every single weekend for you guys. Um, and that includes too, but I wanna mention bus trips to New York City. Um, I know our students will go take trips to Buffalo to watch the Bills play or the Buffalo Sabres play. I know I'm speaking to Ohio students, so I, I'm, I'm sure some are, some are Brown fans, but um, you do get to travel a little bit through, through St. Bonaventure. They try to make sure that you guys can do some cool weekend trips. All right, service, I touched on this, but this is a huge part of our student life at St. Bonaventure. Um, and it's a very important Franciscan value, like I mentioned. And this is something that I think is very unique to St. Bonaventure. Again, where I went to school, um, service wasn't, you know, encouraged as much. And I, th I think it's just nice to see because it can, this is one of those transformative experiences that'll make you a completely different person. Um, not just, you're not just, you know, brain smart here, but your, your heart's growing at St. Bonaventure. Um, and you'll see on the screen, some of our more popular clubs and organizations that do give back. So I'll highlight some of the more popular ones. We've got Bona Buddies, and that's where a group of young elementary age students will come to campus, and you're just kind of a positive role model for them. You get to do fun things together throughout town or on campus. There's Bonner Response. That's one of the oldest college relief organizations in the nation. It kind of started around Hurricane Katrina, but our students will travel to areas where natural disasters hit to help with relief efforts. They will do things locally, like build handicap ramps onto houses that need it. So giving back um, by, by, by that. And then there is MERT. That's pretty cool. That's an emergency response team on, on campus. They help with uh, any emergency um, if it's something minor. And then, of course, uh, they can help you if you need to get to a hospital or something like that. But those are health profession students getting some pretty cool hands-on experience. And I mentioned Enactus. I mentioned the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. And then the Warming House. This is neat. Um, it's the oldest student-run soup kitchen in the nation, and that's in, in town. Um, our students can go and prepare meals for the community and for those in need. And then after preparing their meals, they're welcome to sit down and chat with them. And it's just a nice touch. Um, I've done it a couple of times. I, I truly enjoy that. We also have a place on campus called Mount Irenaeus. Um, and that's a retreat center located in the woods, about 20 miles from here, where you can hang out with friars, um, take some time to unwind and disconnect, um, and spend some time in a cabin and eat some pretty good food uh, as well. So now we've got res life. Um, I mentioned a lot of our students do live on campus, 75%. Um, freshman year, it's even more. Um, we try to encourage all freshmen to stay on campus their first year. And as a freshman, you do have a couple of different options for residence halls. There's Robinson and Falconio. They are right next to each other. Um, Laughlin Hall and then Doyle Hall. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing what these look like, if you can't make it to campus, check out our virtual tour. We do have photos of the dorm rooms and residence halls. Each room has a bed, a desk, a chair, a dresser, closet space, and then internet hookup as well. Something I like to mention is free laundry. I got quarters every Christmas in my stocking for my laundry. So it's really nice to see that there is free laundry here at St. Bonaventure. Um, and the bathroom is really nice too. I know you might think it's silly, but um, in our res halls, you don't have a big communal bathroom space. Um, while you do have to share the big restroom, um, there's little door, there's doors. So you walk in and there's your shower, your toilet your sink and you, you have your bit of privacy there. I know that was important to me when I was looking at schools. Um, and then campus safety and security. We live in a, or we're located in a small town, so it's a very safe area, but we do have campus safety and security patrolling campus 24 seven. We've got the blue light system. There's email and text alerts that you and your parents can sign up for. Um, and they're, they're great. Even if you are across campus, it's snowing, it's dark, and you don't wanna walk to your res hall, give them a call and they will drive you right to your dorm room. So, they're, they're a great resource as well. Athletics, another fun part about St. Bonaventure. So I mentioned we are a division one school. We are one of the smallest division one schools. So at St. Bonaventure, you have the energy. I'm telling you, you've got the energy of a large campus, but the benefits of a small one. Um, and these are our sports that are listed on, on the screen. Um, we're part of the Atlantic 10 Conference. And another great thing about St. Bonaventure is that students show up to support every single sport. Well, again, I'm comparing my school a lot. Um, where I went, football was pretty much the big sport and you wouldn't see students going to the other to the other athletic events. But here, students will show up for every sport, even for some of the club sports. So it's great. You're always going to have a loud, excited audience to cheer you on. 
um, if you are playing sports or if you're just interested in going to support the Bonnies, it's, it's such a fun time. Um, obviously, basketball is huge at St. Bonaventure. And again, I'm going to brag a little bit about our alumni. I believe it was two, three years ago now, we were in the NCAA tournament and the Bonnies were playing in Texas and, and Dayton, Ohio. And overnight, our alumni raised over $10,000 to send our current students to Texas and to Ohio. Um, and our students didn't have to pay a dime. So the alumni covered costs of, of gas, of airplane tickets that the students flew, of food, of hotels, and uh, for the tickets, of course, as well. So, and if our students did pay, they were reimbursed. So it's just, it's a really fun time at Bonaventure if you are interested in athletics. All right, at this point, I hope I've sold you. Um, I hope you're like, Katie, I'm in. How do I apply? Oops, got a little eager there. Um, here you'll see on screen our freshman admissions. We are rolling admissions and there's about a two to three week turnaround. So with rolling admissions, there is no deadline to apply at all. Um, unless you, like I mentioned, you are interested in those pre-med programs. So if you are, check those out online, follow those deadlines um, so you can get, get into the program or get a part of the interview process. Um, but for every other program, rolling admissions, no deadline. Um, the requirements application, you can apply on our website or you can apply on the Common App. Either way you choose to apply, it is free. So there is no application fee. Transcripts, we'll need your transcripts, test scores, uh, essay, and we only require one letter of recommendation. However, you can submit more if you choose to. We will look at your weighted GPA and we, to, we do take AP and IB and any college level courses that you take and we'll take those credits in. Um, I do want to mention before I, I change this slide that we did adopt a test optional policy before COVID. So if you choose not to submit your test scores, you, you absolutely do not have to. And I know to a lot of Students are finding issues in getting their ACT or SAT taken with test centers closing or being canceled. So just know that we will work with you. We're still trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna award our merit scholarships, which I'll talk about. Um, but know that you can apply test optional. And um, if for some reason you, you apply today and you don't have your test scores and you're hoping to take them sometime uh, this fall or in the spring, know that you can submit your test scores at any point. Um, and we will adjust your merit award if you choose to submit your test scores later or if your test is scheduled for later. And I hope that makes sense and I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions about that towards the end. Um, we've got our student profile. So this is just some averages about our students. The average GPA is a 3.3 year and 89%. You'll see our average ACT and SAT scores on, on the screen. I mentioned the test optional policy. 25% um, of our students come from outside New York that total enrollment I mentioned earlier in the presentation. And then we've got 24 foreign countries represented on campus. So I'll tell you a little bit about our merit scholarship. So pre-COVID, if you chose not to submit your test scores and we're doing the test optional, you would be eligible for our grants. So there's the incentive grant and the achievement grant. With the test scores, you are eligible for our top three scholarships, which is, which is presidential, Friars and Provost. And you'll see that presidential is 25,000, which really cuts our costs in half. And you'd get those all four years at St. Bonaventure. But because of COVID and because students simply might not be able to take the test period, um, like I mentioned, we're working on adjusting these merits and making sure that we award those scholarships fairly. Um, of course, you can apply for other institutional scholarships and grants at St. Bonaventure and then any need-based grants as well. Um, to apply for merit, you just have to submit your application. There isn't anything additional that you need to submit. Um, those other scholarships I mentioned at the end, there are some listed on our website that you have to fill out an additional application and submit an additional essay for. Financial aid. I know this is hard as a senior. Sometimes this information for me went in one ear and out the other, and this is my parents' area of expertise, but I'm hoping I can explain this to you guys in a way that makes sense. So um, one thing I like highlighting is sticker price versus net cost. So think of school A as a state school and school B as your private school. School A, while their tuition or sticker price is $23,000, they don't get to be as flexible when it comes to financial aid. So um, you're only awarded at your state school $6,000 as, as a financial aid package and that's it, leaving your net cost at about $17,000. 
school B, we'll, we'll say St. Bonaventure, while we have a higher tuition at about 45,000, we are a lot more flexible and can award a little bit more and work with students on a case-by-case -case basis. So we can award, you know, uh, we'll say up to that 31,000, um, leaving that net cost being only 14. So while there are state schools that are cheaper than private schools, just make sure that you're looking at financial aid packages and, and talking to financial aid offices at private schools to see what you can do to lower the cost. Um, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense. 96% um, of our students receive some type of financial assistance. The average financial aid package ends up being around $31,600. And then the average cost for our students ends up being around $15,900. We do have a net price calculator on our website that you guys can check out if you're interested in seeing what scholarships you'd be eligible for. Um, the FAFSA opens up October 1st. I recommend doing it as soon as possible. Um, and you'll do it at the fafsa.gov website. We don't send out our financial aid packages until January, um, but the sooner you get it in, the better. Uh, you'll be within that first round of packages that get sent out in January, so you don't have to wait until February or March to get your package. Um, and like I said, reach out to myself or financial aid office if you have any questions at all. If it is unaffordable and your heart is set on St. Bonaventure, let us know because we will do what we can to make sure that it is an experience that you can afford. And with that, I'm finished up. We've got our social media handles on the screen. I highly recommend checking out social media for any college you're interested in attending. It's a great way to see what student life is like. Um, admissions, email, and our phone numbers listed. Know that you can visit campus. Um, we have opened up our campus for uh, individual tours if you wanna do that. Or we do have some Saturday visits scheduled throughout the fall as well, if your family can make it up to campus on a Saturday. So check that out. It's all on our website. Um, you guys can find my contact information online as well. And with that, I, I think I'm done. I'll open it up. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to make my screen bigger so I can see any questions. All right. Well, I think our you did a great job giving us all of the answers to what we needed. What I Wonderful. do want our participants to know is that we're very thankful that you decided to give us some time this morning to learn more about St. Bonaventure. Uh, as we try to work through getting information to you the best way possible, I do ask that you fill out the short four question survey when we're finished. If you want to go back, if you didn't take notes, please know that this presentation and presentations of all of our panels and school information sessions are recorded and they can be found at oacac.org and juniors, seniors, sophomores, please make sure you sign up for more sessions because right now this is the best way for you to find out what those college options are for you out there. Thank you so much for everything that you've uh, uh, done to connect with us. Thank you, Katie, for the information and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Bye.